the two, um, the conditional probability of A given B, and then the inverse probability of B given A. All right, so first probability of A given B. Let's think about what that would sound like in words, since that's often how you're going to encounter it. Um, so we're, we're being told in this case, like suppose uh, someone in the training, someone who went through the training uh, is an offender who uh, winds up getting convicted within two years after complete, I'm sorry, I said training, but treatment. So suppose um, the offender is convicted within two years after completion of treatment, what's the probability that um, they are a person with 10 or uh, more years of education, right? Or using the the simpler language, um, what's the probability A given B? That's what's the probability the offender has 10 or more years of education given that they are convicted within two years after completion of treatment. So that's the sort of weird way to put it where we're kind of working backwards in time. <laughs> Suppose uh, the end result is they wind up convicted again, what's the probability that they are someone with that educational profile, right? Um, okay, so, well, what, what can we use? We have, uh, what, is, what is the um, appropriate way, way to handle? Let's break it down. Let's use the, um, I'm trying to remember, I think it's the theorem four which basically lays out as long as the probability of B, the, 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 what's being conditioned upon there, um, as long as it is um, non-zero, as the probability of B is non-zero, which it's not here. We know what the probability of B is. We, we did, calculated it earlier. Um, then we can say that this is equal to, the conditional is equal to the probability of A intersect B divided by what you're conditioning on, the probability of that, the probability of B. Right? Why? Because, you know, in this, <laughs> um, in the uh, Venn diagram, what we're saying is, suppose we already know that B is the case. Suppose we know that we're talking about someone who's from this then given that B, what's the probability uh, that A is true? Well, it's saying, it's talking about the, how, once we already know we're in the B area, what's the probability that we're furthermore in the A area, right? So we're, we're looking at the probability of A intersect B, that upper left, divided by the uh, entirety of B, right? So... These were both things we calculated already. The probability of A intersect B, the numerator there, is 0 0.10, 0 0.10, divided by the probability of B, um, which is the marginal right, probability of conviction within two years, and that's the total 0.37. Right, and uh, uh, I think I actually did this earlier. Let me see if I have it handy. Uh, um, do, 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 do. Where is it? Ah. Yeah, so obviously it's a little bit less than a third. It's around a, a quarter. Um, that is 0.27, about 0.27. Yeah, a little bit more than a quarter. Okay. And finally, this one is easier. We don't need a calculator at the end of this one. Uh, what is the probability of B given A? And this one actually um, is a little bit more intuitive to, to talk about. What is that referring to? That's saying, okay, suppose uh, we're... we're dealing someone, we're considering someone who is an off offender with, uh, that went through the, the uh, treatment program, and suppose that offender is someone with 10 or more years of education. Given that knowledge, what's the probability that they furthermore are convicted within two years after completion of treatment? So they did the treatment, they have high education, 
you know, nevertheless, assuming that there's some kind of um, benefit to that, you know, so that, that's an open question, depending on the nature of the treatment, maybe some treatments were asked, were open to the idea that treatments work, certain treatments are going to work better with uh, people with less, fewer years of education, maybe certain treatment works better with people with a greater degree of education, right? Maybe one of them relies on uh, written material and literacy is a problem, um, right? Maybe, uh, you know, different programs are better at meeting offenders where they are in terms of their background, their educational background. Um, so, right, this is saying, all right, we already know that we're in the, we're in the 40% with 10 years or more of education, right? We're in that, the, the given part is the, the blue is the, the A, right? We're in that blue bit, right? Once we're already there, once we know we're dealing with someone from there, from, from that, uh, um, circumstance, what's the probability Furthermore, that they are, um, that B is true, that, um, which of course, once you're in that blue area, when we talk about B, it's B intersect A. So it's, again, just going back to that, um, uh, really a definition of, of conditional probability, we call it a theorem because it's, it's um, um, shown from the uh, axioms previously, or no, I'm sorry, is it, do we? Actually, I think it was an axiom. It might have been axiom four. That's right. I apologize. Um, you should have seen that when you look back. It's axiom four. So it is a kind of, uh, uh, can also be thought of as a definition. Um, we're starting from this. Uh, we showed the intuition works. The probability of uh, A intersect B. We could call it the probability. Uh, if we followed the, um, if we you know, followed this exactly, we might say, okay, probability of B given A is equal to probability B intersect A, but that's commutative. It doesn't matter. You can write it either way. The overlap, it doesn't matter which way you say it. But the key thing that you remember is we're conditioning on A. That's the probability that goes in the denominator, right? It's out of, it makes sense, right? We're, we're saying, you know, given that we're, again, in, the, in this A region, right? So that's what's going in the denominator. We're saying out of that, what's the probability that we're in the overlap, given that we're already in the blue there. Um, so the numerator again is uh, the 0.10, same as before. But this time, what's the denominator? It's just the 0.40, right? So one quarter or 0.25. And that's it.